Welcome to 911fitness.tv. I'm your host, Jim Saya, and once again, we are here at High Energy Jiu Jitsu Fitness with our super famous physical therapist and personal trainer, Chris Barbosa, along with black belt Guillermo Maya and one of his students, Juan. Super Juan. <laughs> this kid is up and moving. Hey, if you're ever in South Florida, you gotta come to Hollandale Beach Boulevard just off of I 95 and come visit High Energy Jiu Jitsu and Fitness. You're gonna love this place. But now what we're gonna show you is, you know, we've already seen these guys grapple a little bit, do a little dem demonstration. And just before that, these guys went ahead and they showed us some of the exercises that, that contribute to conditioning, fitness, flexibility. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go step by step and describe just where they benefit from that kind of conditioning. So let's talk earlier how we had Maya jump right on, on Juan and do a arm bar. He earlier did that, but we're not going to have to demonstrate again. We already have that footage. But the importance of grip strength. Chris, please describe how important was that grip strength and how it applies now as he grabs a gi when they're fighting. Well, as you can see, sometimes if they grab the gi, they can be taken down right away. But what if that doesn't happen? What if they need to hold that grip for more than a minute or two? Such as when Jean was holding Guilherme's grip um, and gi, and Guilherme had to break that grip so that he could defend himself. And that's a perfect example why he needs that grip strength. And if they need to hold on for a long time, hence the isometric hold. And now take this in a real world situation. You got a bad guy. Yeah. Here you're a victim. Bad guy comes, grabs a female. Yeah. Chris can defend her. herself. She yeah. can get away. She can grab her, his wrist, rip it off of her arm, and run or scream for help. The other move was when when Juan was getting ready to take him down, and and Maya flipped him. Please show that move again. Here we were talking about. Remember the transverse plane movement? Absolutely. How about the tire? How about taking that tire and boom with that hammer? Here's a perfect example how you would use that. And they're wearing their geese and their uniforms, but that is applies perfectly to the daily life as well. Someone try, you know. Grip straight here. Your transverse movement. He's in that squatting position. Look at the squatting position here. Yeah. Tall rotation of the hip. Hips come out here like that. Remember the squatting when he was doing, coming out like this. Remember that movement? He's nice and stable here. Contracting statically, and it's easy. Now all he's got to do is just throw that hip out, and he has it all the way down. And of course, you remember the ladder workout where they had to work on their conditioning. Yeah, Jim does it so well, anyhow. Yeah. But you know, they, this is a good example. They may need to do it two, three, four times before they can actually take somebody down. They need to have that conditioning and that endurance to do that. Well, once again, thank you, Maya. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, guys. Gotta come here. Come see this place. Thanks again. We'll see you on our next segment. Thank you. I'm your host, Jim Saya, 911fitness.tv.